Hi guys, this is episode three of my teardown of this Hawkins Bazaar Colossus uh, monster truck. First episode, I took apart the steering and we had a look at that. Second episode, I took apart the gearbox so we could have a look at the motor and the gears and the back axle. So third episode, we're going to have a closer look at the receiver. I was hoping that I could have done the reveal and take this bit off to actually look at the receiver. But we had to take that bit off to take that bit off to get to the back axle. So it's already in view. Um, down there, we got the on off switch which I could unscrew and pull out, but I'm not going to bother. That screw there holds that in place, which is the battery cover release. Under here, we should have the battery pack, but that was missing when I bought the car. So I've made an adapter there so I can use just an ordinary 2S LiPo battery, 2S LiPo battery, 7.4 volts or 8 point something freshly charged, roughly equivalent to the 7.2 volts it's expecting in the battery pack, which it should have. And there's the on off switch. In fact, I've got it on at the moment, so we can just demonstrate steering is working. And motor and gearbox is working. It didn't have the controller either, but it's 27 megahertz. So one of my random 27 megahertz controllers does the job. Right, uh, let's put that cover back on for now. Switch it off so we don't accidentally short anything out when we're looking at the receiver. So what can we see? Uh, not a lot unless I go in a bit closer. Right, a bit closer. I will do a close-up so we can see what the numbers are on the chips. But that will be the RX2 chip, which most of these 27 megahertz, 40 megahertz, 45 megahertz toy grade use. It may be a different number on it, but it's an RX2 equivalent. Uh, TX2 in the transmitter, TX transmitter, RX receiver. I would guess that chip there is the one that controls the... Uh, I may be right, I may be wrong, that controls the H bridge on the other side. Certainly that's the controller chip. What have we got written on there? We've got V plus there, which goes down to the battery lead. And we've got V minus there, which goes to the negative of the battery. And we've got BLD just there. F there. LD plus there, and L there. Well, F goes down to the motor, and B goes down to the motor. F forwards, B backwards. Easy way to remember it. But then the other ones, LD plus, and LD minus, Well, that's got to be the steering. Why is LD minus all the way back there? I mean, that is the steering motor wires just there. 
L for left. Oh, I see R for right. Why am I seeing ah, LD plus, LD minus? I wonder if it could have had lights for LED. There's nothing actually on that tag. Hmm, maybe multi-purpose could have had lights. There's L minus down there. And L plus there. Hmm, interesting. But certainly L there and R there for left and right for the steering motor. Let's have a look on the other side of it. So these will be our MOSFETs for driving the motors. Well, they're labeled quite clearly down here. V minus, V plus, V, F, backwards, forwards, L for left. And R is just under there, L and R for left and right. And I guess in the factory at some time or other, they probably would have put a felt tip pen on there to indicate 27 megahertz or 49 megahertz. Got QC27M. Quality check, 27 megahertz. And then that's GC FC 118RX. LFPCB.net. I would call that a, an adjustable choke. You can actually screw the center in and out to adjust that to trim the receiver to the transmitter. ANT for antenna. Yeah, that makes sense. It says ANT on that side as well. What I'll do now is I'll get the camera in close just so if we can see. If there's any numbers on there, well, I can see there's numbers on there, so we'll have a closer look. Well, it's upside down as I'm looking at it, but it's RX2. Is that C or G? And then that one. Let's just clean that off of it. I'll see if I can look that up. That looks like a 612E or something. It could be a voltage regulator. Yeah, it could be. We'll see. I'll put something in the notes if I find what it is. And that's a bit better. Yeah, okay, and that's the receiver. I'll put it all back together and it should still work. All back together. Now, one thing I meant to do before I put it back together, with this controller, the steering is reversed. So right gives me left and left 
gives me right. So I could have um, resoldered the wires on there while we had it apart and just swapped it over. I'll do that another time. Yeah, it works. And those hard rubber tires give us no grip at all. Which is all right if you just want to do drifting, I suppose. Anyway, that's it. We've taken it apart and put it back together. Thanks for watching. You'll always find more information down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. You might like to subscribe just here. Over here is my latest video on my channel, and down below is a playlist related to what you've just been watching. Thanks again for watching.